This is the plaintiff, Shatara Bradford. She says the defendant, the father of her baby, owes her money she loaned him when they were friendly, and now that they're not, he won't pay her back. She knows he's going to claim the money was a gift, but it wasn't, and she wants it returned. She's suing for $1,000, the amount owed. This is the defendant, Cassius Foster. He says he wasn't ready to be a father, but the plaintiff pushed and pushed to keep the baby and is having it without his blessing. He admits he stopped talking to her after that. She got mad and is now claiming the money she gave him as a gift was a loan. He only had sex with her one time. She trapped him and is now coming after him for the money he simply doesn't owe. He's accused of being a one-night stand. All parties, please raise your right hands. You see it? Come to order, please. Wonderful nails. <laughs> Litigants have been sworn in. Thank you, Douglas. You're Satara Bradford, you're suing Cassius Foster for $1,000 in a loan that you say you extended to him that he has refused to repay. Correct. What's going on? Um, I've been knowing him for about eight years, and I loaned him some money. Um, he how, do you, how do you two know each other? We met in his city years ago in okay. Cleveland, Ohio. Are you friends? Are you um, friends? Yeah, kind of. We were. Until what? Um, till recently when I told him I was pregnant. You were pregnant with his baby? Yes. Okay. And how pregnant are you? Six months. Six months. Yes. How did you end up pregnant? Well, I don't mean how. I know how. <laughs> but I'm saying, were you dating? Were you dating or just kind of a one-time fling kind of thing? Or? No, we've been knowing each other for years. We dealt with each other years ago. We always kept in contact. Um, I went to his house one day. We did actually, this time, had sex one time and I got pregnant. But so as do far as- Do you have children? Yes, ma'am. How many children do you have? Three. How old are you? 30. Okay. So how did he react when you told him you were pregnant? Um, he just basically is telling me to get rid of it. He didn't want it. It's not the time. And then he just went off the radar, which is disrespecting me, more or less. Calling right. me, you know. Calling you what? Calling me, like, out of my name through text messages. We talked on the phone, but then, like, text messages was getting out of hand. So then we stopped talking for, like... Wait, part. they were getting out of hand how? Well, he would just call... He was telling me, one, get rid of this baby... Period, point blank, you have to. Um, there were text messages. I don't have them in evidence that I have, but like he would call me out of my name, you know, just like that. And then talking about how he would call me. When you say call you out of your name, what do you mean? Like calling me like a. a the B, B word? I, yes, the B word. Okay. Yes. All right, go ahead. Um, you know, saying things as far as like who wants to have kids with somebody, They're calling me and my kids the Brady Bunch, you know, on the lines of that. So. We didn't talk for about a few weeks until he decided he wanted to ask me to borrow some money. Um, Out of the blue, after all those weeks, he calls you and asks you to borrow money? He, apolo he apologized for all the things he was saying to me. Did he call you or did he text you? He, um, he was calling and texting. Okay. Um, but then he asked me to borrow the money and I'm like, okay. You through text or by phone? Um, through the text. And what did he say? He, um, he Do you have the text? Yes. Let me see them. Did she loan you $1,000? No. What happened? She gave it to me. Tell me about it. Well, it, it started with, the, go back to the, the part when we was, we kicked it that day, and I ain't see her, she came to my fight, and then- What's like, your fight? My, my boxing fight. You're a boxer? Yes. Okay, go on. She came to my fight. Then we were supposed to hook up that day, but I, I had just went home, but she had told me like, like I'm pregnant and such and such, but I was I just told I tried to be nice about it before. Like, look, I ain't, I was going through some some stuff like with 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 some legal matters. I ain't know if I was going to jail or was gonna be in the jail to even be around. What's going on with your legal matters now? I'm cool now. I'm, okay, what legal matters did you have? I was situation with like a drug 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 transaction and. and what were you charged with? Uh, trafficking. Trafficking. And yeah. where did the trafficking case go? Well, 
is done with. Meaning you pled guilty to it or it was dropped? It was, it was dropped. Why was it dropped? I, I, it just dropped it, I guess. The Lord. So you tell her, I don't want a baby because I'm going to jail, and what happens? Like, I just told her, like, I wasn't ready for no kid. Well, flat out. You and should that, have thought about that before you took your yeah, penis yeah. out. <laughs> do you, you do know how babies are formed, right? Well, we can go to that matter, too, because, like, I, I used the condom the first time, and then, like, I was chilling. I told her I didn't want to do it no more because I ain't had no rubber. And then she wrote, woke me up, try, you know. So, so you did was, it once with a condom and once without a condom, yeah, and, you're and, then, one, she, and, and she, therefore it can't be your baby? No, I ain't say that. Okay. It can't, but at the end of the day. At the end of the day, what? Hey, you know, I, it ain't, she don't stay in my city. She stay somewhere else. Oh, I don't it may know not be your baby. With. We'll find out as soon as that baby's born. Yeah, that's but, what I'm saying. I, it's a chance, but I'm saying I don't know what's, what yeah, she goes through. Yeah, I know. With the, 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 the part I find alarming is that you are, are very adamant that you're not ready for a baby, and yet... You don't keep a couple of spare condoms in your pocket if yeah. you're going to be, you know, sleeping around. And maybe you should, because that's the way you make sure you don't have a baby. Right? Did anybody ever explain it to you? Yeah, you're Cause right. Cause and effect? Like, you get it, right? You get how babies are formed. Okay, so uh, this whole, let me see exactly how you phrase it, because I found it so charming. You know, about how she tricked you. Is that what you called it? Tricking you? Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So Who's more irresponsible um, for um, having sex without a condom when they didn't want to have a baby? Him or her? She is. Huh? She is. she is. Because? She's ultimately could get pregnant. She has more and at risk. She, huh? she has more at risk. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you think? How about a guy here? Yeah, she has more risk. She's more irresponsible. Yes. Any guy think uh, he's more irresponsible? <laughs> I, th I think he's more irresponsible because he should have wrapped it up. Yeah, but guess what? She, but ultimately, she pays more consequences. Of course. There you go. I got gotcha. you. Uh, we are going inside the courtroom. How do you figure she tricked you? Because she knew what she was doing. What? Because you're just such a gift that she wanted to have your baby? What do you mean she knew what she was doing? You didn't know what you were doing? Yeah, I knew, I knew what I was doing. So how did she to... trick you? She tricked me. I... How? She definitely tricked me. How, though? How did she trick um, you? You had sex without a condom, that's why she is pregnant. So yeah. how did she trick you? But that's not she, something that was hidden to you. She ain't, if she wouldn't have did, I told her, I, but if she wouldn't have did that, I wouldn't have been doing that. I don't know what so you're saying. What you <laughs> Were you unconscious at the time? No, I wasn't. Oh, OK. <laughs> Do you have children? Yes, I got one. How many children? You have one? How old is your child? Seven. She showed me a series of texts where you this wrote things thing like, I only have saying. one child, that's my only oh, child, and that's the only child I'm gonna have. I hope you and what you have in you die. Did you write that? Yeah, I wrote it. Why would you write such a thing? Because she went, I didn't mean it. I was just trying to get her to get the abortion. That's gonna make her get an abortion? Can I have some money, baby? I'm blanked up, a thousand. She answers, what's wrong with you? I really need the 15. Oh, so now I needed 1,500. I will give you back half in a week. Well, baby, I can't give you 15. You never trust me. You shouldn't be talking trash to me, and you made me this way. Trust me, please, I need it. What did you need money for? I was trying to, I'm like, I feel like shit. I was trying to get an abortion, well, and I was going through some stuff at the time, so I'm like, well, if she ain't show that text message when I told her that. I, I don't understand what you're saying. Say I that told again. her I was going through something at the time, so either give me some money so I can get ready for the, the since you are already making me have a baby, so I might as well just give me some money so I can get get myself together so I can get ready for the baby. What were you physically going to do with the money? How were you going to spend it to quote get well, yourself together? Get myself together, but well, just get myself together. No, so that's I not. That, isn't, that doesn't answer me. What were you going to spend the money on? Things I want it. Things that you want. Somehow that was going to prepare you to be a father. Yeah. So you wanted her to pay you for the privilege of having the baby you don't want to recognize and hope dies. Yeah. She was already making me have it anyway, so. She making you have a baby. Yes. Okay. I ain't want it. So I said then either we keep could... your unit in your pants. If you don't want a baby, then do what it takes to prevent a pregnancy. But if you don't, 
then don't call her a trapper or someone who's bullying you or who's forcing you and therefore has to pay you. Now, let me ask you something. Don't you have better things to do with your money than hand it to him? Yes, Perhaps you can purchase yourself some self-respect. No, I have self-respect. Do I you? Do. Because yes, it's looking like you don't, honey. No, I definitely do. Well, I don't know. But Why would you possibly? You got three kids. Yes, ma'am. You have another one on the way. You're 30. And yet the thousand dollars, how'd you get that thousand dollars? From saving up. Right. And instead of keeping it for your children who are going to need it, you hand it over to that. Why would you loan him the money? And I do say loan. She didn't loan it to me. Oh, according to you, he... I, I said if she... Yeah, I, she told me she was going to give me the $1,000 already. Yeah, I got a little greedy. I was trying to... I'm like, well, if you give me the 15 I'll pay it back. But she didn't give me the Except 15 Except for that it's all in the same series of texts a few minutes apart where you say, I but really she, need the 15 she, I'll give you half back. If, if, if you, that's why I said, if you get, she had already set, told me she was going to give me the money already before the time. She uh, said, you, and that's when I Why should to I believe you, well, you as here. opposed to what your texts say, which is that you're asking for money yeah, and then you're promising to repay it. I paid back $1,500. Oh, but not 1000 She She said she was going to give Ms. it Ms. Bradford, me. why would you have anything to do with the guy? I don't know. What was in it for you? Is this what Nothing. you envisioned growing up as a little girl? No. That this is the kind of love you'd experience? No, ma'am. Okay. This is a guy you slept with and you got knocked up. Right. And if you want to have the baby, that is your prerogative. Okay? Right. But, and if you want to make him pay, that's also your prerogative. In fact, that's your baby's right. Not even your right. It's your right. baby's right to have the child support. But in the meantime, this stuff has nothing to do with your baby. This has to do with you and your desire to be with him. Okay? And it's nonsense. No. So seriously, I am going to order him to pay back the money because it's obvious to me he's supposed to pay you back. Oh, yeah. But for the love of all that's holy, go buy yourself some respect with that money. A thousand dollars verdict for the plaintiff. We'll see what the defendant has to say about this. Come on, out, come on out into the hallway right here and tell me what's what's uh, what's your reaction to what just went down in there. Hey, at the end of the day, she gave it to me. So, but at okay. the end, hey. Are you prepared to be a dad if that's what? If it's mine, mm -hmm. hey, if it's mine, but I don't want to deal with her. If it is, her. if it is, you prepared to be a dad for the rest of your life? I'm already a dad now. And you're ready for another one if? If. If it's mine. Right. But if it ain't, wait, okay. I don't think it's mine. Okay. All right. All right, right down this way. All right, step on in here. And what about what the judge has to say to you? Um, I never want to be with Cassius. He's not even on my level to try to be with anyway, so all that is absurd. That's not what the judge was really saying. She was talking about you and self-respect and I have self -respect. What, what you do with the rest of your life. Right, I have self-respect. I just made a bad decision. I learn from every mistake I make, and that's mm -hmm. all I can do mm -hmm. is learn from my mistake. It'll never happen again. All right, good luck. Thanks. Harvey? Okay, I gotta tell you, we've been doing the show a long time. I have seen enough of these cases. She should go after him for child support and she should never get back with him, period.